Hello, thanks for joining me for another beer review then. Today we're going to the Fallon Brewery, or the Fallon Brewing Company, and this is their Wanganui, and this is a Kiwi Pale Ale then coming in at 4.6% ABV. So, I've had, I think I've reviewed one beer from these guys, and actually had one beer from these guys, and that was the um, Choo Choo, which is a milk stout, I believe. Um, so yeah, so it's only the second beer from this brewery I've had. I really enjoyed that beer, of course. Um, so this is um, got. We'll get into that in a minute. So the ingredients: malted barley, so that's gluten, hops, and yeast, uh, kiwi fruit, and water. Uh, Three thirty ml can. Then best before the eleventh. Eleventh. So twentieth. Yeah, the 11th, sorry, November of 2020. Get it right. Let's crack this open then. Oh, there's a bit, a bit of a foam coming up in this one. Not, not crazy. It's just one of them ones where a slight kind of overfill, if you like, which is no, not too bad. A beer in a glass. We'll have a look at the hot varieties in a minute. Let that calm down a sec. Slightly aggressive pour, one finger pure white head. So beer in a glass, it's kind of a it might be a dark kind of lemony orange straw sort of colour, if you like. Um, medium haze. It's, it's hazy, but there is some clearer bits at certain parts of the glass as you look in it. Give it a swirl and a sniff then. Yeah, I mean it's very I mean, this is actually, I think they're saying it's brewed with kiwi, kiwi juice. Um, and that, that's kind of definitely present there. Slightly dry, prickly. Kind of what you expect, really, from New Zealand, sort of, uh, as it says, New Zealand parallels. It's, it's definitely that sort of thing. Maybe some, like, dried lemon. Yeah, a sort of musky dry, but yeah, with that kind of dry lemon sort of tinge. And then there's definitely kiwi juice or something kiwi esque in this one, so let's give it a try. Cheers. It's brewed with taiki. Um, quite that, it's, it's quite a lot of kiwi in that. Lots of kiwi. Hazed up a little bit more at the bottom of the can, but it's quite quite dark on camera. I mean, it is dark actually to look at. To be fair, even with the light that side behind you as you're looking at the camp at the uh, the beer, but hmm. No IBUs I can see anywhere. It doesn't seem that bitter, to be fair. Um, it's got um, hello, hello, melon. I'm probably butchering that up. There's some kind of melon in there, but that's definitely coming through. It's quite dry. So I uh, will have a commercial description. I think that's the same commercial description as on the can. Um, all right, there you go. Low bitterness, hopped with hello, melon, and taiki. I've heard of that one. For a fruity tropical flavour finish with kiwi addition for aroma for aromas uh, of ripe kiwi fruit. Um, incidentally, these guys are out of Stirlingshire in Scotland. I don't know if I mentioned that. Keppin, Stirlingshire in Scotland. <sighs> Bit of gas going on with this one. It's alright. I mean, it's. Um, if you don't like kiwi, then it's not going to be for you. But then, if you're picking up a beer and you don't like kiwi, and it says that on the side at the bottom of the can, it's kind of on you, isn't it, really? Um, if you don't like kiwi, and then you, oh, it's got kiwi fruit in it. You know, have a look. 
That's what it is. It's quite mellow. Um, very dry. Very kind of low key, I'd say. Um, a little bit earthy. Not a whole kind of massive fruit bomb of a, of a, of a thing going on. It reminds me in some ways of that kind of earthiness of a of a, an English sort of um, IPA kind of feel. It's not not in the word. I mean, more fruit flavours, not not the actual malt. Because obviously, a lot more. There's a lot more kind of malt, kind of uh, in in the, the British uh, hop variety of of like, especially like cast beers. They're very kind of malty, quite strong for the ABV sort of sort of deal. Um, but this hasn't got the malt. This has just got that very similar kind of earthy sort of dirty fruit you know sort of thing going on with it which is fine um, but without that kind of real maltiness that goes with it so a bit of lace in there it's not a bad beer to be honest it's, it, it's one of them ones that it's slowly starting to grow on me a little bit so um, let's have another t give it another mouthful and then we'll see Wanganui Kiwi Pale Ale from the Fallon Brewing Company. I don't know. I mean, this is this is one of them beers. It's, it, it's down to personal taste. Um, I'm not overly keen on kiwi fruit, but I'll give it if it's in a beer. I'll give give it to me. I'll give it a go. You know. Um, I don't know. It's just a little bit. Apart from the kiwi and stuff, it's really not a lot go else going on. There's a little bit of dried kind of, as I've said, dried lemony sort of earthy lemon, like lemons that have fallen from a from a from a tree and just kind of been sat there in the sun wherever and started to turn a little bit dry, a little bit you know in the soil, a bit earthy kind of you know that kind of deal. But it's like, I mean, nothing wrong with the beer, it's just my personal taste. So go and give it a try for yourself, as always with beer. At any review I do, you know, subjective and not subjective, but it's uh, everyone's got different, you know, appreciations for different different flavours. And uh, but this is okay. Um, it's not it's not uh, it's not wowing me or nothing like that. Um, but it's all right. It's not it's not too bad. But um, yeah. In terms of rating them for me on this one, I'm, um, I'm going to give this beer. I'll give it a 7, 7 out of 10. Um, maybe I should be a little bit lower, really, come to think of it, but I'll, I'll stick with a 7. I was thinking of a, um, a 6.5, but it's on that sort of. It's very close, but I'll give it a 7. So it's a 3.5 on the untapped scale. Over to untap then, it's uh, just over 3,000 total check-ins, 108 in the last 30 days. Uh, it's had 2,666, all, all of them in a row, uh, ratings then, coming in at 3.5, yes. And I didn't I didn't know that that was where it was at, but that's where I'm, that's where I'm placing it as well, a 3.5. And that's a lot of ratings as well, so, you know, over 2,500 ratings of this beer. And it's coming in at 3.5, which is a 7 out of 10. It's in the kind of solid range, um, but yeah, <coughs> very gassy though, um, which I thought it would be when I cracked the can. Here we go again, excuse me. <coughs> Here we go. So, Wanganui from the Fallon Brewing Company out of Stirlingshire in Scotland. It's a Kiwi Pale coming in at 4.6% ABV. Let me know what you think, you've had it before, and check out my Scottish Craft Beer playlist that will be down below. And I'll see you on the next review. Cheers.